Hey guys, I'm back today again with another ASMR mukbang eating show. And today I have some Taco Bell. Now this is leftover from last night. Um, I bought the $5 box which brings a Burrito Supreme, a Cheesy Gordita Crunch, a Crunchy Taco, and Nachos with Cheese. David had bought me two boxes because like I munched from them and I'm like, I'm going to save the other box for tomorrow for lunch. Now, this is a little bit of a hot mess of a mukbang it's going to be because I heated them up in the microwave and you guys know that when you don't eat Taco Bell fresh, it loses its crunch and it's just a hot mess when you microwave it. But hey, I'm not going to let this food go to waste. So I'm going to start with the crunchy tacos. I don't have the nachos here because I ate them last night. Like I said, I was picking from the boxes and everything. The crunchy taco is a hot mess. Like, I wasn't going to eat it in front of the camera, but, like, I didn't want to cheat you guys off so many, like, items <laughs> from the $5 box. So I shouldn't really call this a $5 box because it's, it's not complete. But anyway, whatever. So, the crunchy taco, I guess it I heated it up for too long, so it got, like, a hot mess. So it's all over the place. I'm just going to pick and eat at it because I'm not going to let this go to waste. So, <laughs> But, yeah. This definitely lost its crunch, so this is not a crunchy taco anymore. But I don't care. It's good. And I got some Coke. Mm. But let me tell you guys something. Well, some parts are still crunchy. Let me tell you guys something. Taco Bell has... Some of the best crunchy tacos. Like I really love their crunchy tacos. I feel like I'm eating Ethiopian food. <laughs> you know, Ethiopian food, you have to eat it with your hands. And the, the bread they use, which is called injera, is used to like scoop up sort of, it looks like a tortilla to scoop up the food so <laughs> that reminded me of it speaking of which you guys have no idea how bad I want to try Ethiopian food like I've been going crazy trying to find a restaurant in Miami but there's just nothing nothing around my area no Ethiopian restaurants, anything like that. Sucks though, because I've really been dying to try some authentic Ethiopian food. But oh well. <laughs> try to scoop it up the best I can. Mmm. Hopefully this one didn't get as mushy as the crunchy taco did. This is supposed to be the gordita crunch. We shall see. Their cheesy gordita crunch is really good too. This one didn't break up like the other one did. Let me fix this because the paper is off. I like for you guys to see the food. There we go. So anyway, yeah, you guys, I've been oh my god for so long. I've been wanting to try Ethiopian food. Like. Uh, I've seen some videos on YouTube. About Ethiopian food that teaches you how to eat Ethiopian food. 
and the customs and all that. And oh my god, so mouth watering. But looks like I'm gonna have to travel outside the city or something if I want myself some authentic Ethiopian food. Because I really can't find anything around my area. I've tried Googling it, but... Maybe a little farther up north. Bless you! Over in the next county or something. Maybe. They have an Ethiopian restaurant, but... As of now, I haven't found anything near me. So we shall see. The baby's watching cartoons. <laughs> you guys can see a little bit of my TV in the background. <laughs> So I have two things I want to do that's on my bucket list. I want to try Ethiopian food. And I want to try Indian food. I've never had Indian food either. Now. There's. There is. Some Indian restaurants near us so. We have no problem with that. We could definitely try some near our area. But we've never been there. I don't know why, because we have one really near us that's been there for many years. And I've always wanted to try Indian food. I had a friend, <laughs> I don't mean to sound nasty, but this is exactly what he told me. May he rest in peace, he passed away years ago, but when he was still around, he had told us that, that he had tried Indian food before and that it was really good, but that it smells like armpit. <laughs> Ew. So I think that was like kind of a turn off, so maybe that's why I haven't really tried it yet. <laughs> I just couldn't take that image off my mind like when he said it, I was like ew I don't know why he said that maybe it's just the restaurant he went to he had a bad experience or something I don't know but I will never forget his words that was so funny he's like Indian food is really good but it smells like armpit I'm like ew how the hell does food even smell like armpit <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm down to my last item, which is the Burrito Supreme. And I am a little upset, not really looking forward to having to take out the tomatoes because David didn't order it without tomatoes for me, so I know they put tomatoes in there. <laughs> I don't know why I hate tomatoes so much and I am like the weirdest person ever like if it's in like salsa 
or like chips or whatever i eat it like i know they're in there but they don't taste i don't get the taste of the tomato when it's mixed like in a salsa like that but when it's just the tomato by itself oh i hate it i cannot stand the taste of tomatoes i don't know why like sorry <laughs> mm. I know I still owe one of my viewers a Chipotle mukbang I had a request a while back a few months ago I'm sorry I haven't gotten around to that but my life is just simply crazy <laughs> I buy what I could afford and I get to what I could get I can't get to all the requests I receive on time but somebody wanted me to try a Chipotle burrito I love Chipotle, but Chipotle is so expensive, like it's crazy. But I definitely need to get around to that because one time I had a Chipotle burrito. My experience wasn't so pleasant because I had steak. Usually I go more for steak. If I have to choose between chicken and steak, I always choose steak. I Preferably for me it's beef, but if they don't have beef, then I prefer steak over chicken. But the steak was so chewy. It was like so hard to chew. It wasn't tender, you know. It was it was even hurting my gums to chew. That's how hard the steak was. Um, I just couldn't enjoy the burrito that way. So I heard that the chicken one is better, and I could do chicken, you know. So. I know I definitely owe you guys that Chipotle mukbang and I will one of these days. <laughs> mm. My soda's flat because this is the cup from last night that I saved. <laughs> and it says KFC because the Taco Bell that we went to is a KFC slash Taco Bell. So that's why they use those cups. But anyway, I saved the cup from last night. And we had a two liter soda here of Coke. And I guess it was flat already. So I poured it in there. Once I had already poured it, I noticed it was flat because I didn't see it doing like the bubbles. And I'm like, oh crap. But whatever, I'll just drink it like that. <laughs> I hate when the lettuce gets mushy though. Like, honestly, I hate when I cheat you guys off a of mukbang. <laughs> Cause I really should have done this mukbang last night when we got the, the $5 box. But, Sometimes David is so tired. I'm tired from, you know, tending to the boys all day <clears throat> and doing my duties and whatnot. David is exhausted when he comes home from work and sometimes we're not in the mood to like sit down and, and record a mukbang. So we just want to like just sit, enjoy our food and watch TV. So, but I should have done it because like everything would have been so much fresher. <laughs> And I love their nachos with cheese. Their nachos with cheese are really good, but my favorite nachos from Taco Bell are the uh, the nachos Bell Grande. Hmm. I love those. This feels more like a bean burrito instead of a burrito supreme. I guess it has a lot of beans. Wow, I'm scared it falls apart. <laughs> mm. 
so messy. Mm. Try not to let it make a mess. <laughs> I got a tomato there. <laughs> I hate them. I hate tomatoes, you guys. I'm sorry. I know both mukbangs are supposed to look enjoyable. <laughs> well, at least I know they were all on the bottom. I didn't have to put up with them throughout the whole burrito. <laughs> This is awful. I'm such a picky eater. Well, not really, but I really just hate the taste of tomatoes. Like, I cannot stress it enough. <laughs> I feel like candy K right now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure many of you guys know who I'm talking about. She's like a savage. <laughs> when, when it comes to eating. I'm not hating though. I love her. Like. She gets a lot of hate from people. But hey man. She's just doing hers. And I hate how hypocritical some people are. Like. Oh you eat like a pig. You eat like a savage. Honey. We all eat that way. When we're starving. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure most of the people that comment on her videos. Eat that way behind closed doors when no one's watching. So go somewhere else with that bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, she's just like a sloppy, messy eater. But you can tell like she really enjoys her food. Like I love watching her videos, her mukbangs, because like you could tell how much she enjoys his food, and she just doesn't give a crap. Like that people are watching or what they say. Like she just enjoys her food. <laughs> Yeah, all over her face. <laughs> all over her hands. She don't care. She just enjoys the shit out of her food. I like that. <laughs> I like mukbangers who keep it real. Anyway. <laughs> mm. I have to go wash my hands though. There's nothing worse than drinking flat soda. I'm drinking it because I'm thirsty <laughs> to wash down my food. Anyway. Coming! <laughs> my son's being crabby. So. But I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.